Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In the last video we looked at the Text on Shape tool and we saw that there were some limitations when it came to certain shapes like the example we used was the heart shape and there's also a speech bubble and a butterfly shape that I feel are not good choices to use as the tool was set up but there are some uh, workarounds that we can use and that's what this video is going to be about so let's get right into it so here we have our text on shape our heart shape from our last video and I'm gonna place my cursor in here so I can see it blinking and I'm gonna do command A on a Mac or control A on a PC to select all of the type now I'm going to go up to the font size in the options bar and I'm going to click I'm going to set the font size to 18 point which is quite small and I'm going to click on the green checkbox to OK that now I'm going to place my cursor in my text again I'm going to use my left arrow key to go put my cursor all the way to the beginning press my space bar once to add a space before Donna and now I'm going to double click on my text to select it all again and I'm going to copy that to go to edit and say copy and then I'm going to place my cursor at the end of my type again I'm going to go up to the edit menu and say paste and you can see it pastes the three names there because that's what I had copied and I'm just gonna press command or control V to Put that text all the way around the heart shape. That's as many times as it will go. And now you can see it's much easier to tell that our shape is a heart and we can read the three names, although they do repeat themselves. Let me get rid of this layer and I'm going to start over so you can see exactly how this works. I have my um, text on shape tool selected. In the options bar, I have the heart selected. So I'm going to hold my shift key and draw out another heart. I'm going to place my cursor over the shape somewhere and I'm going to start pasting in my names. What I want to draw your attention to is this little circle with the crosshairs in it. If I click once to get the flashing cursor inside my type so you can click you know anywhere between any letters on your type but you just need to have that blinking cursor after you have the blinking cursor if you hold down the command key on the Mac or control key on a PC and put your cursor right over that little circle you'll see that you get a black arrow next to your cursor icon and now if I click and drag you can see that the circle stays there and that the X is moving so the circle is my endpoint and the X is my beginning point so if I drag this all the way around eventually I'll have enough space between the two to show all of my text once I have that let me see if I can double click on the word Donna or on the name Donna I should say and hit the delete key and I'll do the same to Pete and now I'll do the same to David and I'm gonna delete one more time to get rid of that space behind David I have a gap between the end and the beginning of my text you can see the space between the end of David and the circle which happens to be right at that point at the top of the heart that is how much space I can actually move the text around so if I hold command or control again and get my arrow because I had the blinking icon now when I click and drag you see I can reposition my text within that amount of space now if I go too far all of a sudden the name Pete disappears so if I back up and get far enough away then it reappears so I just wanted to show you that 
you have some control over where that text falls on your shape by doing that. If I would do it right there, that would be kind of a nice balance of space between David and Donna. That's one solution, is just to make your text smaller and repeat the names. Now the other solution I have, let me select all that text and let's make it bigger like before we had 60 point and I'm just going to move the beginning point the same way. I'm going to make sure I have the blinking cursor and then I'm going to hold control or uh, command, press command or control and I'm going to click and drag to get my text a little more even around the heart. What I can do now is again I'll hold command or control and once I have the arrow if I click and drag towards the inside of my shape or the heart in this case the text will pop into the inside of the path rather than the outside. And then if it is on the inside you can do the same thing. You get the arrow, click and drag towards the outside of the heart and that's where it will go to the outside. Now the other solution I wanted to show you is let's actually make this type a little bigger. I'm gonna select all my type again. Up in my options bar you have different styles that you can apply to your text. So I'm gonna choose underline. That'll put a line under all my text. So now you can see with that line it more clearly defines the shape of the heart. But that is another solution. At that point you can start playing around with maybe changing the size of your text. But now you can pretty well see that um, the shape of the heart. There's a couple solutions and the way that you can make your type go around your shape, move around your shape, and the way you can get it to go on the inside of the shape or the outside of the shape. I recommend you go in there and play around with it like I do and maybe you'll come up with an even better solution. Until next time, this is Rick saying take care.